Thank you, Tata, and welcome to Easiest Ever Homemade Laundry Soap, okay? And one of the reasons I love to home make um, laundry soap as well as dishwasher soap and hand soap and all of that is because it's going to be a lot safer for my family. So uh, safer, more natural ingredients, things you can actually read um, as opposed to a lot of labels out there. You're like, wait, isn't that poisonous? Or I have no clue what that is. So um, I really love to home make things myself because then I can you know, just to get to choose what I put in it. So one thing that's really, really important to me is to make sure it's effective, number one, and number two, safe, okay? So those are big things for me, and um, a lot of things out there are not safe, and um, they might be effective, but they're not safe. So I've been looking around, looking around, looking around, and finally I found something I'm satisfied with, and um, I want to show that to you. All right, so what you're going to need is you're going to need a container. A lot of people will buy a one gallon cooler, uh, one of those water coolers with a dispenser, just like a one gallon thing. That seems to work best. I just went to Walmart and I got this uh, $5, uh, one, 1.25 gallon container. Um, and what I used to use is this container and it's a one a little over one gallon with a squirt bottle on top that was like 10 bucks so let's start with the recipe for the recipe you're going to use one cup baking soda one cup castel soap uh, it doesn't really matter the brand of castel soap um, one cup optional but i like it one cup of kosher salt and then we're going to use uh, about four capfuls of this doTERRA on guard concentrate and then about 30 drops of doTERRA on guard essential oil. I love this because it gets things clean. Uh, they actually don't stink, you run them through. They even work with HE, so that's good. We usually wash about six or so loads a week. So we go through a lot, and so this typically I think will last about a month. And so that's, that's really nice for us. Because I don't know where my funnel is, I'm just going to be like old school and uh, use this to pour it into the top. All right. So here's what I do with one cup. All right, all right, so now we're going to fill it up with water, wash some of that stuff off the sides. Okay, so I just filled this up with the water, and I'm going to put the lid on and shake it. Can I shake it? Can I shake it some now? Shake it pretty good. Can I shake it now? I'm going to even turn it upside down to get that baking soda stuff. Can I even touch it now? Okay. Now it's perfect and ready to go. What you'll use is about a quarter cup of this mixture. So you can either have a quarter cup handy um, always just with this on top of it or whatever. All right, so now let's use the laundry soap. Um, let's put in our load. There it goes. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put about a quarter cup of this laundry soap. And you can give it a little shake if the stuff is settled a little bit. Give it a nice shake. Quarter cup in there, perfect. It kind of is right up to that line that I have in here, so that's nice. If my load is like super soiled, um, 
it, it may be fine, but if you just want to give it an extra kick, what I do is I just put a little bit of vinegar in the softener area and maybe put also a few drops of doTERRA purify in the softener too that will help a lot with the smell and then um, if I just want my clothes to smell extra extra clean then I'll take purify or a citrus or my favorite essential oil put it on one of the rags going into the dryer and then dry it like that or if you have um, one of those wool balls that you can put a few drops on stick it in the dryer with your load it spins around in there and gets everything smelling amazing and extra extra clean all right so let's go ahead and I'm okay go ahead So thank you so much for joining me for easiest ever laundry soap DIY.